Thanks, and we'll wrap, wrap here. Uh, Dave squeezing him in a little bit, uh, an unscheduled uh, guest here, but a good guest. In NetApp is doing some great work. It was interesting, you know, the whole Hadoop thing really hasn't, you know, stormed this business. I'm not surprised, but... Uh, we saw those guys in New York City at, at like, say, Turner. They get this. Thing. So there's an early movement yeah. of guys in the business who are geeks and understanding what Hadoop is and why big data is important. So I, I agree, it's still early there. But I think well, Yahoo's they, a media company, AOL. I mean, well, they're, they're so you know, it's, right. But you know. Web 1.0. But you know, well, we're talking you about you know TV networks and film. These guys aren't used to dealing right. with fast data. You know, using it into the user experience. So I think I think they have to. I think it, it will be table stakes. But also, analytics is a big driver right now. That's the tip of the spear for things like Hadoop, right? And that's. So not, yeah, we're mean, not hearing a lot about if that. If you want to know about big data, go to siliconangle.com or wikibon.org. We've been in deep in big data for over two years now, and people will understand this um, dynamic, Dave, a little bit uh, down the road in two years because there's a real user experience behind big data uh, or using data, um, not just parking it away in tape or some data warehouse. You're seeing the storage guys here in this business because in the media business, it's all about the user experience. We're here in the experience studio and that is the future. Experience-based programming, experience-based applications, putting people in their natural setting, as we heard from Paul, uh, the inventor of the Epiphany Wall and Site, site Tech, what's being shown here, and uh, who's, he's in the studio audience here, a little plug for Paul. Um, but that is what it's all about, and big data does that. Yahoo, it's not big fat files. They use data, little pieces of data to give you a better user experience. I think you see a little bit of that on um, with Netflix uh, as well and others. So the big guys have to evolve or die. Yeah, so we're seeing uh, you know, the big themes here. Obviously workflow keeps coming up, right? I mean, that's the, the lifeblood of this <laughs> industry is how productive people can be, but it's, and, and speed is you know, critical there, but also value. You, know, you mentioned the epiphany wall, and there's new sources of value that are being created, and the economics of creating that value are coming down to a point where the masses, you call it the democratization of the media and entertainment business, where the masses can, can really get creative, with it, whether it's audio or sound or whatever it is, and uh, you're yeah. seeing some tremendous value be created. It's really just the tip of the iceberg. Dave, we, at theCUBE, at the end of every event we do at theCUBE, we want to summarize kind of what we learned. Um, and, and we have the luxury here at SiliconANGLE TV, theCUBE, uh, Dave and I, to sit down with guests and actually extract the signal from the noise. And it's real great to do that because we get to hear firsthand from these tech athletes themselves who are in the trenches building new technologies. And I learned a lot this week uh, on top of this new event here for, with experience at Intel. Um, and thanks to Intel for uh, allowing us to come here. Um, what did you learn? Yeah, so, you know, we always talk about cloud, mobile, social, and big data, and one of the things that strikes me is, you know, those themes resonate here, you know, very strongly, but in a different way. You know, this is a different type of industry, they got different needs than, you know, the, the traditional enterprise guys that we typically talk to. So, I think they're, this, the, the data doesn't get any bigger here, but you're seeing the ways in which they use it, the ways in which they monetize it are not necessarily, for instance, instance analytics, it's creating value and rich experiences. And the second big point is, just walking around the show floor, you're just seeing these technologies and the economics of these technologies coming down where you can create just unbelievably gorgeous experiences for consumers at price points that are, we haven't seen before. Yeah, I mean, the things I learned, I learned a lot of things, but I think the highest uh, abstraction for me is, I learned that there are new ways for competitive advantage, even for our business here at SiliconANGLE and Wikibon and others, is that with this emerging disruption going on, both at the technology level and within business models, new players are coming out. We've heard from Showreel, exciting company doing some corporate work. I mean, he could put out a movie with his friends, and I think that's legit, and, is, and for the first time, this kind of disruption will open up new kinds of competitive advantage for upstarts as well as the big companies. So to me, my big walk away was things like animation with a processing power we're seeing with Intel, the software, amazing stuff. So to me, that was one walk away. The other one is that because of the changing dynamics in the marketplace, with social media, user behavior changes, interfaces, multiple endpoints on mobile devices, that is causing a, a disruption in the customer base of everyone who's selling stuff here. So that was a big kind of connect the dots. Um, and then, you know, NAB is a, is a mainstream kind of front end show for the consumer experience, but the tech is key, solid state, and Thunderbolt are the kinds of examples of innovations that, that are under the covers that are going to power this so that we can have an epiphany wall with fully integrated stuff, so we can have new apps on mobile devices. And again, 
the content theme, I was kind of okay with that. I didn't really wasn't I didn't fall out of my chair on the content has changed, whatever their theme was. To me, that didn't really knock me yeah, off. Yeah, I agree. It didn't knock me out of my chair because yeah, content's out there. We know that. That that wasn't the point. I think it was the tech and the changing business models in the landscape. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the tech was the, by far the most interesting piece here. You know, I mean, I, you know, the theme-wise. Now we didn't sit in the, a lot of sessions because we're doing this, but um, uh, I think uh, that that is what struck me is that technology. Yeah, the lack piece. of content deals, uh, by the way, is something that I saw. I yeah. didn't see a lot of discussion about content deals, but you yeah. know, overall photography, and the cameras are great. And you're seeing a real bifurcation in the marketplace. You know, the very high-end activities, and you know, they can they can charge that premium, but then the masses, you know, and that's really where all the action is. Okay, we have one minute left here inside the cube at siliconangle.tv. I just want to say thank you to Intel Studio Experience for allowing us to come here and do our show here and talk to exciting guests and bring our editorial perspective uh, to the conversation. Thanks to all the guests and people here who were participating with us and uh, big shout out to Steve and his crew for this amazing set. Um, it's been a great event. Dave, always a pleasure working with you. Ditto, John. Mark Hopkins, who's been producing all the show here, multiple hats, uh, doing all the integration, amazing tech here, great stuff. And uh, the, Cube, the Cube Spring Tour coming up. The, uh, got a, right? the, so we got uh, SAP Sapphire, EMC World, uh, the Intel Forecast event down in New York City with, at the Cloud Connect show. We'll probably be at IBM Edge, HP Discover. Not sure if we'll be at Syner Citrix Synergy. Hope so, yep. but a uh, lot and going on. And uh, take a watch out for our launching of our 24-7 tech channel, news, analysis, 24-7 globally. That'll be coming up this quarter. This is siliconangle.tv and wikibon.org, theCUBE, John and Dave. Closing out NAB, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. <laughs>